I know when you're trying to grow your hair and get it it's healthy, frustrating. it can be so frustrating. I've been there a little more than six months ago that I have been using this regimen and I freaking love it. I had that bob for so long and I just wanted long hair like Jackie. So I went to go get it dyed and my hair turned out so yellow. Just not don't wash, wash your, your hair, hair every day. Yeah. Use dry, dry shampoo. shampoo. Coconut oil is your best just friend. Give your hair a break. <laughs> Today we have a video all about hair, so if you guys want to know how to grow your hair super fast but also keep it nice and thick and healthy at the same time, watch this video. We're not going to beat around the bush and um, be those people who tell you you need to cut an inch off your hair every Just month. Just get a whole bunch of trims and it'll grow. Because like, that's not what's going to make your hair grow. I know from personal experience that's not what makes my hair grow. Um, um, I ha before this video, I actually got a trim and I got a few inches off um, this past week. But before that haircut, I hadn't had my haircut for like a half a year. Yeah. And my hair was growing over three inches every two months, which is which is crazy. Which is a lot because if you look up standard um, hair growth, it's six inches for a whole year. So um, my hair was growing because of the tips that I'm going to share with you guys in this video. And... We're just gonna be really real about it. We're not gonna tell you things that don't work. It's always going on YouTube, looking up videos, and um, through trial and error, we've really found that these tips that we're gonna share with you guys work. Um, they work. They work, and that's just how plain and simple it is. Yes. Your hair is gonna grow. Your hair is gonna be super healthy, and it's gonna be thick. And you're not gonna have to get a haircut every month. If you guys also want to see some hair growth for yourself, then just keep watching, and we're gonna share all those tips with you guys right now. Alright, hey guys, so just in case you guys don't want to hear me and Jackie's like hair journey and see like before and after pictures, you guys can skip to the time 646, I believe. And then um that's the part where we share like how we grow out our hair, the parts we use, and yeah. So if you guys want to skip this part and don't want to see that, then you can skip to 646. Okay guys, so um, first I feel like we should give you guys like our hair history so um, you guys can kind of know the process. We can show you guys results from our past. I've been trying to have long hair for a really long time, but okay, so three summers ago now, I don't know what was going through my head, but I really wanted to be blonde. So I went to go get it dyed and my hair turned out so yellow. Um, And not just the color sucked, but my hair was very long as you guys can see. It was basically touching my butt. After I dyed it, it was so damaged. Really I mean, was. you guys can see in the um, picture that you guys can see in that picture, not only the color sucks, but my hair looks like hay. Instead of thinking about my hair and thinking, okay, I'm not gonna dye it until it's back to its health. Um, I went and got it dyed again. Okay hey guys, so you guys can see my hair um, was a little darker, but it didn't last. Um, and back to like, it wasn't as yellow and bad as it was, but it was still like a really like awkward blonde color. color. Yeah. I kept that for a while and then I remember with every wash it was getting lighter and lighter and I was like, okay, I cannot do this. I need to go like dark, dark. I go to the salon and they show me the little hair samples and I pick the one that's closest to my color. She came home with black hair. My hair was <laughs> black, guys. And I cannot tell you, Again, that's more dye, more damage to my hair. Okay, guys. So I'm at the point. I was at the point where I was just so upset with my hair. My hair was so damaged, like half of my hair, and my hair was down to like here. Half my hair, like so damaged, dead. like just dead. And I was like, okay, I just want to start new. <laughs> so I go and I get my hair chopped to like right about here. So that's like more than half of my hair gone. Um, obviously that's extreme because my hair was extremely damaged and I just kind of wanted to start new. I wanted to start with all the damage gone and start actually taking care of my hair. So that's what I did. So my hair stayed at this length for a really long time. I think it's just because my hair was kind of like, ooh, ooh, what do I do? And I didn't they have did, a... And I'm pretty sure that you were using heat on your hair a bunch too. Yeah, and I wasn't being smart. I didn't have my regimen down, so... Um, it didn't as you guys can see in her. this picture right here, my hair was still, it looked like hay. It was still really damaged. So I figured out my regimen, which we're going to share after this hair history. Um, that's when I started seeing my results. 
my hair finally started growing. Um, you can see my hair is still kind of short there, but it started it's more growing. It's mid length, and that's when my hair started growing. I would say this was about six months ago, maybe a little more than six months ago, that I have been using this regimen, and I freaking love it. Um, as I said, my hair is growing like three inches every two months, and here is what my hair looked like before I got my trim recently. Um, as you guys can see, my hair is past my boobs by like, I would say two inches here. It just um, grew so much. I have my thickness back and I have like, just like the health back to my hair. Do you wanna explain your Yeah, mine's pretty short. Shorter. Mine's way shorter than hers. All right, so this is a picture of me. This was my senior, last day of senior year, and that was 2018 May. So this is how long my hair was, and it, it was like that for most of high school, actually. And I was just so like bored of long hair that I wanted to do short. I had Jackie cut it, I don't get haircuts by anyone else and it was about this length and it was a cute length for it sure so cute it was like up to my a little past my shoulders I loved it and I kept it like this for I months know. I told Jackie give me trims keep it like this for actually probably over a year asked her to give me another trim and it went a little it went totally wrong. I kept telling her a little shorter, a little shorter because I wanted something a little bit shorter. I thought it'd be fun, but it ended up being way short. It was so short. I was so insecure about it. I just kept thinking like, how am I gonna grow this out? Yeah. Jackie's probably ha given me two just short trims just to keep it healthy. It was growing a little bit, a little more every now and then it would just grow. And um, but it was nothing, but it was nothing major because like, I kept getting trims um, because I thought that that's what I had to do. I had that bob for so long and I just wanted long hair like Jackie. I'm constantly looking at her hair and I'm like, wow, that's so cute. So I have been doing this regimen and, um, and like it's grown like a really crazy amount. Like I'm so happy with it. Yeah, I'm just super happy with the growth and now we're just gonna get into the products and everything we've been doing, yeah. To start out, we want to um, kind of give you our routine. So one of the main things when you're wanting to grow out your hair, I know um, this could be touchy for some people um, because a lot of people have the routine of washing their hair every night or every other night. We're not saying you can't take a shower every day. Obviously, we take shower, a shower every, day. every day. Just don't wash, wash your, your hair. hair. And the crazy thing is you can actually, once you start doing that train for a it. while, you can train your hair not to get as greasy, greasy. and it'll level out with um, the amount of grease it's gonna have and it's it's just gonna, like your hair is gonna fix itself. Yeah. Basically, what the big thing about um, not washing your hair every day, we um, will go as long as we can. I would say sometimes we go for like a week or longer sometimes. Or longer. Um, the reason that is so essential is because the natural oils in your hair is what's gonna make your hair healthy and grow. grow. I mean, if you're stripping the oils and every nourishing thing that your hair is producing for your hair, obviously it's gonna not be healthy and it's not gonna grow. So, I mean, health comes along with the growth. If your hair is not healthy, it's not gonna grow. So, you just like, that's a really big thing. And, dry shampoo. Just I can't buy tell you guys a good dry shampoo. How much? Okay, but this is my <laughs> your favorite. mother. This is my favorite dry shampoo ever. It's the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak um refreshing dry shampoo. Guys, okay, so what we do is we'll wash our hair like I think once a week or a little longer we'll go. Um depending on like you how know, we feel. How we feel. Um but we'll use this in between and it literally just makes your hair feel like it's clean and it makes it smell good it and it's it just volume so definitely get yourself a good dry shampoo there's a lot of good ones out there this is our favorite so if you guys do want to try this one out it's a great one but that's like one of the biggest things guys do not, not wash, wash your, your hair, hair every day Trust and another me. thing don't wash your hair with sulfate and chemical shampoo and, and conditioners shampoos. I, that's another thing shampoo and conditioner if you're using sulfates those chemicals are gonna damage your hair sulfates and just like if you read a shampoo bottle and there's a really long list of ingredients and you don't know half of them don't buy it buy, buy it. really natural. we've figured out like all the products that we buy most of them are so natural, natural like one ingredient things and that's what's best for your hair it really all is. those chemicals all those unnecessary Dries things 
gonna make your hair unhealthy and it's just gonna prohibit it from growing because it's not gonna be healthy. So just sulfate free, um, as little um, ingredients as you can. The most natural based shampoos and conditioners are, the best. are gonna be the best. Invest in a wide tooth comb. Do not, when you get out of the shower, it is so bad for your hair. It's we delicate. used to do this all the time too. We would just take any hairbrush, brush it. You guys, that is so damaging for your hair. It I can't so even explain the difference a wide tooth comb has made in my hair. Guys, it's, when your hair's wet, it is so vulnerable and it's, it, it will break easier. So get a wide tooth comb and start at the bottom and go super, super slow. As you, you want to take head. your time with this because that is what's really gonna break your hair, brushing your hair. So a wide tooth comb is gonna change your and life. And these aren't expensive or anything. You can, I could, probably got this for a dollar at Target, yeah. anywhere. Just get a wide tooth yeah. comb and use it after the shower. Okay, and then second, once we're out of the shower and our hair's brushed through, okay. I um, can't tell you coconut what oil. I don't it, use coconut oil for. I use this on my face to take my makeup off. I use this on my hair. I use this as a moisturizer after Guys, I shave. coconut oil is so good and so natural and so good for your hair. So we just take some coconut oil, we rub it in our hands and, and we put it in put the ends of our hands. hair. I, but yeah. coconut oil has changed our hair health-wise, growth-wise. Sometimes, um, if it's like on the last days and we're gonna shower like the next day, we'll take the coconut oil and put it all over our hair and just do like just a, a mask. mask. So good for your hair, guys. We just wanted to throw this in because we know sometimes, obviously, do not use heat on your hair if you're trying to um, get it un get it healthy and you want it to grow. Obviously, try not to use heat as much as you can. Yes, when we were, when I was can. growing my hair, I wasn't using heat at all. Like I wasn't making any exceptions because I wanted it so bad. But obviously, we know some people you're gonna have to like grow. we do it whenever we yeah. film a video. We use heat. We on know our hair. there's gonna be some times where you are gonna have to use heat or you just want, want to, to use heat. It makes you feel pretty. Yeah, and like guys just be smart about it don't do it every day we know that sometimes you have to so invest in a good heat protectant um, this one's our favorite yeah we use the trust um beauty guru <laughs> we've just this is just the trust heat yeah and it, it he protects up to 450 i've seen a lot of um heat protectors that don't go up that high but like certain tools do go up that high and this one smells so good yeah so we do use this one when we do um straighten our curl our hair or use any heat on it just because you want to protect so it'll take away some of the damage you're using we all know that any hairstylist will tell you if you're trying to grow your hair or like you um, need to get regular you need to get trims. regular trims like every month. No, that's just not true. I was doing that for a while. My hair was getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop doing this because it doesn't make sense. I w and then she looked something up and it was like, it makes total sense. Like I understand if you're trying to keep it healthy to trim it, but if you're not using heat and you're not doing anything else and you're just trying to grow out your hair, why are you gonna yeah. get trimmed? Because so your hair grows from here. Your nice. hair grows from here, not the bottom. So do not. So listen what to I them. did is. Um, in the beginning of my hair journey, I cut my hair. I cut off everything that I thought was going to be damaged, and I just left it. I let it grow from up here, which is where it grows from. And if you're not damaging your hair and you're taking your, taking care of it, your hair's not going to get more damaged from the bottom. So that just doesn't make sense for you guys. So, so last tip we have for you guys is like, I used to be a person that after I take a shower, I would just put my hair up. You do not want to do that because when your hair dries, it will get pulled. Um, you don't want to have your hair in anything too tight. You don't want to sleep in a ponytail or a bun. It's gonna damage your hair. Um, I try to stay away from hair ties in general, and it just so happens that scrunchies are really trendy right now. But scrunchies they also like it. It just like it's like so much less damaging because it's like this cloth. Anything that's gonna be thicker um, is hair, gonna be healthier. Hair ties are super thin, so when you tie them super tight around your hair it breaks it's it. gonna start breaking mm -hmm. especially if you do it pretty tight and and they're so thin and you're moving it's rubbing against your hair and it's breaking your hair so if you have anything like looser fluffier like a scrunchie or just like it's gonna be better for your hair it's gonna be better for your hair um you should never sleep with your hair tied um with like a scrunch not a scrunchie um a hair tie because it's gonna break throughout the night but yes so if you guys take anything from this don't wash your hair every day. Uh, we wash ours about once a week or over that. Yeah. Use dry, dry shampoo. shampoo. Coconut oil is your best Just friend. Give your hair a break, guys. That's the main point of this mm -hmm. video. Take a break from the stripping it from the showers, using all those products, heat, heat chemicals. Just, your hair needs time to breathe and get healthy and grow. And so, it will grow. I promise you guys it will grow. It will. 
and coconut oil get it just get it put it on your so hair good. put it on your freaking legs after you shave it your makes face. it so soft take your makeup off with it natural and um is always better natural is always better so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something i know when you're trying to grow your hair and get it it's healthy, frustrating it can be so frustrating i've been there I know what you guys are going through and um, we've, so if you guys liked the video, found it helpful at all, just give it a thumbs up and if you guys want to see more of us, you guys can subscribe but if you don't want to, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, have a great day. Bye guys.